hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by and for always coming back to watch my videos how are you doing how are you keeping safe how are you wherever you are let me know in the comment section below how you are enjoying this uh, uh, holiday uh, that is amidst uh, covid19 yeah so today i'm back again with an interesting video i want to show you how to use a uh, von microwave that i have so i've realized my video about the von electric um electric and gas burner oven is doing very well on my youtube channel if you have not watched it go ahead and binge watch it it is on my channel uh so that's why i want to explain to guys how to use the microwave the von microwave um yeah so let's do this i wanna explain it to you as we do this vlogmas uh too okay stay tuned hey guys welcome back to the microwave so this is the microwave i am using it is the von hot point microwave 20 liters solo and then it has some cooking out of function six or six of them they're here there's fish vegetables pizza rice preheating and then beverage and then the, the timer and the power and what have you on the side so generally it looks like this it is very heavy and uh they are convenient size and it has a medium plate inside i'll show you the medium plate that is inside it's not so huge and also not so small so this microwave um, uh, is not very expensive, it is very affordable, I will put the price in the link to in the description below if you want to buy such as this one. And then um, once you, you go to your dealer, to your supermarket to buy this microwave oven, you will be explained to how to use it but I know you will forget once you get home. So that's why this video is meant for you. So the first thing you want to do is to press this uh, button in and press it very hard. For the door to pop out because it does not have a handle the door actually is pressed and press out and in for it to open and then once it opens you meet your space where you're going to home your food and here you have a plate this plate is being pivoted on some on thing at the center to make it move around as you move your plate so that the, as you move your plate. so the plate actually is medium in size it's not so huge and it's not so small so it fits a family uh thing and now it's enough for for family and also affordable for you okay so this once you have powered your microwave on and then you have seen the plate it is moving you get whatever you want to warm in this case i'll demonstrate using a cup of water place it at the center and make sure you have the guidelines on what material to put, not to put in your microwave oven okay so sometimes you will put things that can explode don't put a foil don't put their glass that can explode that can crack so that is Harmful and you want to note that down. So once you have that inside there, you close your door. Okay? And then you come here. Let's begin with the heating because it is direct reheating. This microwave has direct reheating of two minutes and there's a button for that. You don't need to press time and power here. You just press reheat and then you start. You will notice that your food is moving and it is warming. Okay? So you want to stop that and then we reset. Let's go to the auto function. This is the auto menu. It has given you six options to make your food without having to press the power. When you have fish in your microwave and you want to cook it, you press fish, it gives you power of 200, and then you start. And then that is the time that it gives you for your fish to cook. Okay? If you have vegetables, you press veggies, and then you start. It will give you time for your vegetables to cook. Let's stop it. And then you have pizza. 150 time is one minute it will cook for that one minute and then if you have rice press rice and then time you can realize the time for rice is 20 minutes because the rice is raw it is going to cook for 20 minutes with the power of 200 okay and then you stop if you have a beverage like you want to make coffee you want to make tea you want to make black tea and what what have you your beverage you press beverage and then to give you 1 minute and 50 seconds to make your beverage and that is as simple as that that is the meaning of auto cook because you don't have to time to, 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 to weigh the power here before you time it you just press directly and then you press start and then if you have food that has been in the freezer for so long and you want to defrost it and then before you cook of course you have to defrost you come here if you have a weighing scale in your kitchen you wait defrost after you have weighed your food with my partner ni, 100 grams you come here you wait the frost and then you write your 100 grams and then you start okay because you you've pressed weight the frost it shall indicate itself in terms of weight 
And then if you want to jet defrost without even weighing, you will jet defrost. Let's reset first. If you want to defrost it very quickly without weighing, you press jet defrost. You can press in here the amount of power that you want. Anything. Okay? And then you start. That will get the moisture out of your food and make your food to be ready for cooking after you have taken it out of your freezer. Okay, let's reset that. And then now down here, if you have food that you want to warm very quickly, like a samosa, sausage, like vegetables, very, very tiny things that you want to warm and they were previously cooked, you want here, you want to come here and you press um, power. It gives you power of 100. And then you want to press the minutes that you want. Five minutes, you start. It's going to warm your food for five minutes. You set. If you want nine minutes, uh, you press nine, start, and then you stop. Okay, and it has an alarm every time it stops, it has finished cooking or warming your food. So it will beep almost twice or thrice to remind you to come and collect your food. So it is very safe to use, and it, it's, it's very safe to use actually. It, does, it will not explode on you or something, because it will always remind you whether your food is ready or not. Okay? Once you're done, you want to press also again your button inside for the door to pop open and then you collect your food from your microwave and then close it back. So we have done uh, the how to use it. Now how to clean it? Because your microwave is warming so at so many types of food. It is warming uh, rice, it's warming vegetables, it's warming pizza, it's warming meat. The smell inside like there is going to get, it's going to get smelly so you want to clean it. So if you want to clean your microwave oven, make sure you have vinegar, that is white vinegar, and then you have, uh, what do you call it, baking soda, and then warm water. Then you mix, get a cloth, and wipe inside there for you to get rid of the smelly uh, space, okay? Yeah, I think that's it for this video. And now, uh, for my honest review of this oven, it is very pretty, looks so good in your kitchen. It makes the space look so so amazing and interesting to look at. I want to advise you not to buy the one that is a push and pull uh, door, this button, because it's pretty, yes, it's classic, yes, but you know once this thing has stopped working, the door will not open under no circumstances, will, it will not open under any circumstance. So if you have a handle, it is better because you're just going to pull and push. So at least if you're buying one, make sure you're buying the one that has a handle, alright? Now, if when you're done using your microwave oven and you have a... You finished everything, you, want, you have closed it, it is safe to remove it from the power source. So just turn off your socket and then plug it off. Because you don't use the microwave often, once you're done, with, you're done with it, you're going to power it off until next time. It's not like a fridge, okay? So you're going to let it uh, stay like that, uh, out of the power source. Yeah, until you want to use it next time. So that's it for this.